Hey everyone, Tim here with the 1245 Prayer Life Devotional for today. Uh, thank you for taking a moment out of your day uh, to join uh, with us together. Uh, today the, the reading has to do with generosity uh, and thinking about what you have and uh, giving to those in need and, and helping uh, people out. I thought it was kind of a cool springtime uh, feel because it references right away talking about a farmer uh, planting a crop. And I'm sure a lot of our farmers are out in the fields uh, as as I tape this for all of you, uh, busy planting planting their crop uh, for this growing upcoming growing season. Uh, maybe some of you got out this past weekend and we're able to do some yard work, uh, clearing some flower beds, cleaning up the yard, and maybe you yourself uh, like to plant a small vegetable garden uh, that provides for your family and friends and, and maybe neighbors. I'm always thankful for, for those of you that bring in some of your harvest come fall and, and share it openly uh, with our faith community and church community. Uh, it's always uh, a great blessing uh, to enjoy some of that uh, with all of you. So today I'd like to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 11, and then I'll wrap our time up together uh, in prayer. But it reads as follows. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give, and don't give reluctantly in response to pressure, for God loves a person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. As the scriptures say, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. For God is the one who provides the seed for for the farmer and the bread that and the bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. And when we take your gifts to those who need them, they will thank God. I'm struck uh, right at the end of that passage and talking about um, that you will be enriched in every way uh, when you give generously. Uh, and I'm thankful for all of you that, that have given of your, your talents, uh, your time, uh, and what you have, what God has blessed you with to, to help uh, each other out during these times. Um, and I know for me, uh, when I'm able to give uh, and serve, uh, it does. It enriches me um, and I get as much out of it as I think those that receive either either the gifts or or the or the time uh, as well. And so I'm thankful for that. And I hope you find ways uh, while we're social distancing and uh, to to give of your time, talents, um, money, what whatever you may have, whatever God has, has blessed you with. Um, can I pray for us as we wrap up our time together today? Let us pray. Dear God, I want to thank you for the seasons. Thank you for the arrival of spring, the warm weather, the sunshine, uh, the cleansing rains uh, that is nourishing uh, your beautiful creation around us. Thank you for, uh, for everyone that was able to join us today. I pray that you watch over all of our farmers who are busy out in the fields uh, planting their crop for the upcoming growing season. And I pray that you just open our eyes and our hearts and our ears to ways that we can serve you uh, and be generous with those uh, that are around us, with everything that you have blessed us with. I pray that you keep us all safe and healthy until we are able to meet again. In your name I pray. Amen.